Hello everyone, today we are going to do one more lab. In this lab we are going to learn how we can assign the IP in the switch. So let me take the switch. This is a switch I am taking, the layer 2 switch. This is a layer 2 switch. I will give the label as SW1 and let me take one PC. Okay, I can take one or two PC. And after that we will see how we can assign the IP to this switch. Imagine this is the uh, this is the layer to switch in your organization and you need to assign the IP Maybe for this switch you will you will use the IP 192.168.1.2 Okay, you need to assign this IP Inside the switch that is go to the CLI of the switch Okay, and then after that I will use the VLAN First of all, let me do the basic configuration. We will go in the enable mode, then config T. I will change the name of the switch. I will write the SW1. This is a switch one. And after that, if you want to check how many VLAN we have, do show VLAN brief. With this command, we can check we have default VLAN. Okay, this is the VLAN one we have. We have some extra four VLAN also. This one we are not using. So only this one is available. We can use this VLAN and assign the IP to this VLAN. In the layer 2 switch, we will not assign the IP to the port. We will assign the IP to the VLAN. So what if you want to assign to the VLAN, you can use this default VLAN or you can use any other VLAN. So I can take the VLAN 100. Okay. So VLAN 100. I will write VLAN 100, press enter, give the name as MGMT management VLAN we can say this VLAN is used to manage the switch So just I give the name so with this two command I created the VLAN Inside the layer 3 layer 2 switch I created one VLAN that name is VLAN 100 If you want to check you can write do show VLAN brief with this command we can check If you see we have here We created the VLAN 100 but we don't have here we have here Okay, this is the VLAN which we created. Now we don't have any port. If you want to put, you can put the port. Or if you are confused, at this level, forget about this VLAN. Just imagine this is the default VLAN. All the ports are in that one only. So assign the IP to this VLAN. Okay, so let me explain you first that one. You have default VLAN that is VLAN 1. And now you want to assign the IP this one 192.168.1.2 to the default VLAN. So you need to go under that VLAN, right? Interface VLAN 1. Okay, now I'm using this VLAN. Later we will look this one. Maybe you are confused. If I go in detail more now, later we will go in detail. Now imagine you have only default VLAN, all the ports are in that VLAN just you need to assign the IP to this VLAN so what you will do you will write int VLAN 1 so you go under that VLAN after that write IP address and whatever IP your manager told you to assign example your manager told you assign to 192.168.1.2 255.255.255.0 and write no share okay this way we will assign the IP if you want to check you can write show IP interface brief so you will get that detail if you see this is that vlan we assign the ip 192.168.1.2 this way we will assign the ip to the layer 2 switch and now if you want to ping from this machine you can ping let me give the label here 192.168.1.3 i am going to assign this 1.3 here to this uh, computer gateway we will use 1.1 later we will add the router also and here i will give the label 1.4 okay now i am going to assign this ip to this machine go to the desktop go to ip configuration and assign here gateway as 1.1 that's all now you can try to ping your ip whatever we assign i will write ping 192.168.1.2 so if reply will come that means you are your connectivity is okay okay so if you see reply is coming so connectivity is good 
now imagine you need to configure the telnet here okay in the switch so how we can configure the telnet inside this switch let's do that one so i will go inside the switch i will write enable i will write here enable and the password just i am creating the enable password as abc so when i want to go to enable i need to write the password abc this one i created now i will create one user we will write username i will write admin and the password admin i created one local user here i created just now this is the password if you want to go to enable mode then you need to write abc this is a password for enable mode and this is one user username is admin password is admin now let's see how we can configure the telnet if you want to configure the telnet you need to write line vty i am using 0 to 4 what is the meaning of 0 to 4 means 0 1 2 3 4 means five guys can access the telnet same same time if you want to allow more you can write 0 to 5 or 0 to 14 or 0 to 1 means only two guy can access the telnet same time if you want you can check also you can press question mark they will show you how much it will support it will support till 15 so 15 guys can access same time 15 guy can access via telnet at the same time but anyhow i will use 0 to 4 i will write lan vty 0 to 4 this command we write here after that we will write lan vty 0 to 4 login local i wrote login local means take the login detail from the local means local user whatever local user we created that one okay whatever local user we created now let's see it is working or not we will check from here i will write here telnet 192.168.1.2 i will press enter if you see it is working perfectly they are asking username i hope you remember we write admin and the password we write admin and if you remember enable password we give abc so now i am inside the switch if i want to check the version of the switch i will write show version so if you see you can check this is a version of the switch this one software version is 12.2 and if you see the switch is up time is 39 minutes okay so this way we can access if you want to leave this one you can write exit so now telnet connection is closed so this way we configure the telnet if you have confusion i will show you this one let me copy and paste here so you can easily understand i will copy i will paste here and then we will delete extra thing i will delete here what uh, let me delete from here this one i will delete this one i will delete okay they are taking very long so better i will put in the notepad okay this way this is better so i will remove this and then i will remove this then i will remove this okay so this is the configuration what i done here i enable the password i created the local user uh, here one more thing we miss that is lan vty so let me check maybe i did not copy that one lan vty this one this one here you will have lan vty after that you will have login local so this is a configuration for telnet i can paste here okay here in this place so this is good anyhow if you need this topology and this configuration join our, our telegram channel in that one i am sharing this all okay so i hope it is clear now we assign the ip for layer 2 switch we need to assign to the vlan for layer 3 switch you can assign to the interface but for layer 2 you need to assign to the vlan so i done here for vlan and here we can access okay we can access if you want to cross check i will show you again here telnet is working okay telnet is working so this lab is done successful in case if you face any issue 
join our instagram telegram or you can whatsapp us no issue okay thank you